So freezing point is always the same as melting point. Okay, basically if they write here, freezing point, melting point, take it to be the same. All right. So what happens here is um, melting point. Melting point means what? What, what does the word melting point comes from the word melt, right? So obviously you know that if substance M is negative 10, I know that the moment it hits negative 10, it will start to melt. Okay, so please remember. Uh, okay, so melting point is the same as freezing point. So I was saying that at negative 10, substance M will start to melt. So anything after negative 10, anything more than negative 10, so means negative 10 after that is what? Negative 5, 0, then 10, then 20. Anything more than that, it will be what state? Tell me. So anything more than this temperature, anything more than negative 10, anything more than 30, anything more than 50, anything more than 120, what states will it be? Liquid or gas. Liquid or gas. I like that, okay? Because it will start to melt, so it will be liquid. At a certain temperature, it will become gas. Do I know exactly what temperature they will become gas or liquid? I do not know based on this information. I only know that after this temperature, they will become liquid or gas. But do I know what? Do I know which temperature they will definitely be solid? Anything less than these, these uh, numbers, anything less than negative 10, anything less than 30, anything less than 50, anything less than 120, it will be solid state. Quite clear, right? So obviously, treat this whole thing to be a number line. So look at number one. M is a gas at 25 degrees Celsius. Look at M. 25 degrees Celsius is where? 25 degrees Celsius is after negative 10. After okay. negative 10 is, of course, either liquid or gas. Do I, do I know for yes. sure whether there will be gas? No. no. So one is out. Then come to two. N is a liquid at 25 degrees Celsius. Where is 25 degrees Celsius on N? In what state would that be if it's less than 30? Solid. Solid. So number two is out. Come to number three. Also out, right? Because you realize that at 80 degrees Celsius, B is a solid. Yeah, B is a solid because it's less than 120 degrees Celsius. So that's how you figure out your answer. Do you all understand? This one must get correct, huh? Cannot get it wrong.